We are performing simple PCV test. All we'll be needing is a blood sample from a patient. As you can see, this is our blood sample. And uh, we'll be needing a capillary tube. This is how a capillary tube looks like. This is how the tubes look like. We will be filling this tube using two methods. The first one, you dip the capillary tube, tilt the blood sample to one side. You see the blood moving by capillary action. You can see the blood moving by capillary action. You bring out the capillary tube and wipe excess blood from it. Now the second method of filling, you dip in the capillary tube and tap one end of it. You see the blood moving on its own by capillary action without you tilting it. See the blood moving. Be sure to fill your capillary tube at least two third or three quarter of this tube should be filled like this after which you seal the capillary tube seal one end of it with your sealant you pin and rotate a bit be sure not to press so hard because the tube can break and the blood will spill on you so you pin and rotate a bit pin and rotate a bit see the sealant entering the tube and rotate you can see the sealant inside the tube that means it has been sealed a sealed capillary tube when turned upside down has no leakage unlike the one that is unsealed it has a leakage you can see the leakage there so we will seal this one as well using the same method pin and rotate pin and rotate you can see that our tubes have been filled and they have been sealed as well so we proceed to the spinning stage this is the micro hematocrit centrifuge you place the capillary tube in it with the sealed end facing you The sealed end faces you. And then you cover it. Remember the both samples belongs to one patient. This is because in case one breaks or you lose one, you will not have to repeat the procedure. You still have one to read. And then this is going to spin for five minutes. In the result of the PCV with the micro hematocrit reader. This is the micro hematocrit reader. And this is how the PCV looks like after it has been spawned for five minutes. The red cell has separated from the plasma. We are going to place the, the tube on the reader, ensuring that where the red cell ends is on the zero mark. You can see the zero mark. And then the buffy coat is on the 100 mark. We shift it to make sure it's on the 100 mark. You can see that. And then you pull the reader to the point in between the red cells and the plasma. You can see that. And then you pull again you pull again 
to the point where the red cell starts from. It is the red cells we are reading. You can see that this PCV is, is 39. It's 39. So you record the PCV as 39. If you like this video, please click on the subscribe button down below and hit the notification bell to see more videos like this. Thank you for watching.